Yashpal Sharma had technical limitations, but that shortcoming was overshadowed by his courage, concentration, determination and patience, qualities that made him add substance to the Indian middle order from 1979 to 1983. An ideal man for a crisis, Yashpal could blunt the edge of any attack with solid defence, and though he might not have been a very attractive batsman to watch, none could argue against his value to the side. A score of 173 for North Zone against South Zone in the Duleep Trophy in 1977 to 1978 brought him close to national recognition. He toured Pakistan the following season but did not make the test team. He did well on the England tour in 1979, scoring 884 runs, 58.93, and played in three of the four tests. He was a regular member of the team during the twin rubbers against Australia and Pakistan in 1979-1980, making a number of valuable contributions including his maiden Test 100 against Australia in New Delhi. However, he lost his place after an indifferent showing in Australia and New Zealand the following season, though he did get 201 not out against Victoria. He bounced back against England in 1981-1982 and scored 140 in Madras, sharing a record 316-run stand with Jia Viswanath. The two batted throughout the second day's play. Yashpal remained a regular member of the team on the tours of England in 1982, and Pakistan, and West Indies in 1982-1983, always being a difficult batsman to dislodge. He was one of the heroes of the 1983 World Cup winning squad and his innovative batting and excellent running the wickets saw him make the transition comfortably in the one-day game. However, a sudden lapse in form during the 1983-1984 season against Pakistan and West Indies saw him lose his place in the test side and he never regained it, though he did play in a few one-day games. Yashpal served as a national selector for a couple of years until December 2005 and was reappointed to the panel in 2008. Yashpal Sharma debuted in Test cricket against England at Lords on 2 August 1979. His last Test match was against West Indies at Delhi on 29 October 1983. Yashpal Sharma debuted in ODI cricket against Pakistan at Sialkot on 13 October 1978. His last ODI match was against England at Chandigarh on 27 January 1985. Yashpal Sharma played 37 test matches, 59 innings, and scored 1,606 runs with a decent batting average of 33.45. His highest score of 140 against England at Chennai in 1982 goes in vain as the test ended in a dull draw. He hits two centuries and nine half centuries along with seven sixes in his entire test career. As a fielder he took 16 catches. Yashpal Sharma played 42 ODI matches, 40 innings, and scored 883 runs in his entire ODI career with a low batting average of 28.28. His ODI strike rate is 63.02. His highest ODI score of 89 against West Indies at Manchester in the Prudential World Cup 1983 helped India to win the match by 34 runs. Without any doubt Yashpal Sharma was declared man of the match in that ODI. He hits four half-centuries in his entire ODI career. As a fielder, he took 10 catches. Yashpal Sharma had a superb first-class record. He played 160 matches, 245 innings, and scored 8,933 runs with a super-strong batting average of 44.88. His highest score in first-class cricket is 201 not out. He has 21 centuries in his kitty. He also took 47 wickets with a bowling average of 33.70. In list-day cricket, Yashpal Sharma played 74 matches, 70 innings, 
and scored 1,859 runs with a batting average of 34.42. He also took 13 wickets in List A cricket.